Uh, just what have you thought of quarterback play through the first five practices of the spring and just where do those guys look at this point? Yeah, they're all, uh, I think all four of them are improving. Um, you know, for two of them, it's their second year in the system now. So I, you would expect improvement, better understanding after a whole off season of studying yourself. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a healthy competition in the room and I think uh, it's a it's a deep room, so we'll just let it play out. With the uh, the defense the defensive line, just with the experience that you have coming back, the talent there, the depth. What's kind of your outlook and your assessment for for what you believe that potential could be? Yeah, we need to we need to improve on what we did last year. We didn't play up to our potential last year, not even close. So we need to have a better pass rush with just the three and four man rush. You know, we can't have to dial blitz up all the time to create pressure. Uh, we have talent and we have some depth we need to really coach the heck out of it uh, guys got to work hard and then we have a chance to play a lot of people rotate the way we like to do it in waves so that's my vision you know but you, know, you can see it. you still got to do it Reggie Sutton was a, a great remarkable comeback story last season uh, he's back this year looking to cement himself and I guess, improve. Uh, what have you seen from Reggie so far and what what have you told him about, uh, you know, what he can achieve this season? Well, Reggie chose to come back and he just loves playing and he loves being with his teammates. Um, it'll play out. There's competition. You know, Ty Needham's back. Um, so we'll see. You know, Reggie, he can't go – as long as the other guys go and, you know, repeat practice after practice, his body just doesn't allow that. So we have to be smart with how we use him. And um, as long as we do that, I think he'll be a productive member come the season. You're in a competition, wide receiver group, you have a lot of size, different guys. And what's it like having Dremel as a leader there for the group? Well, you're right. We, we all of a su sudden have some depth at the position, although it's young. Uh, but to get, you know, Brantley now playing, so there was a, a portal guy from last year that didn't get to play. Um, and now having Dimir there as well, now all of a sudden you have a couple of grown men with Dremel and then a, a, a nice group of young guys that uh, it could be a real good mix. could be a real good mix. We'll see how it plays out. Obviously it's super early into the season now, but is there anything specific you look for from the position groups that kind of stands out to you? Any of the groups? Just, well, I guess, specifically quarterback. Yeah, well, I, I addressed the quarterback. Um, you know, certainly we have to improve on the O line. That's a that's an always thing, and it's the hardest thing. It takes the most time. It's the most number of players. So not only do you have to improve over time, but you have to do it with the most amount of people. So the sheer, you know, five elevenths have to get better. Um, the tight end position, we're figuring it out with guys that aren't very experienced but are very talented. Uh, you go over to defense, the linebacker group is, you know, getting valuable experience. Uh, and in Tyreen Powell's absence, some young guys are getting even more reps. The secondary's a little bit challenged um, with depth. We have young guys that are going to have to really step up and become players. Um, I feel good about their potential. We just need to, again, it's, it's one of those deals you got to coach them really well and then and they got to accept it and go do it so I'm excited um yeah I think we're making progress that's that's what we need to do right now uh the offensive line had some nice stats last year low sack rate and obviously ran the ball pretty well um where do you think the offensive line stacked up last season in, in comparison to the rest of the conference and do you feel like the offensive line you know is, is really at that big 10 ready to go pound the ball kind of level? Um, we're getting closer. We weren't last year. I thought Coach Sharaka did a great job of protecting the O-line, um, which limits some of the things you do. Right? Um, you need to be able to you know, throw more drop back pass, but you got to protect drop back pass. Right? Play pass protects them a little bit. Um, the run game. I think that, you know, we ran the ball on third down quite a bit. You know, so when you look at it, we were definitely much improved. Some of it was who was who was coordinating the offense. 
Some of it was who was coaching the O-line, and some of it was the work that the guys were putting into it, and they started to come together. What I like about our offensive line right now, totally unselfish group, very, very close. See, that's how offensive lines are made, and that's how tradition in offensive lines begin. We didn't have that. So it's a work in progress for sure, but the, the, the foundation is there now to grow an offensive line then that will have tradition and, and pass down. Tradition to me, as I've said to you guys many times, is not singing a song or touching a statue. Tradition is what gets passed down. You know, the legacy that the older players leave to the younger players, and, and, I, and we are. Coach Flats and the whole st offensive staff has done a good job of leading the way and creating that tradition. And it's starting to uh, it's starting to come together. So, long term, it's going to be good. It's just, but you know, it's hard to grow an O line and, and to, to grow an O line in a program that consistently is there is probably the hardest thing. That was still very early, but how do you feel like Kenny Fletcher is adjusting to tight end and, and kind of where's his ability as a as a blocker right now? Yeah, he is uh, adjusting well. He can do everything. He just needs to learn how to do everything every play, and he needs to learn what those plays are every play. But there's nothing that kid can't do. He's he's uber talented. He's tough. He's up to 240 something pounds. I mean, he's he's what you look for. I have a couple a couple quick ones if you don't mind uh, to circle that back. Would be the two, I assume. <laughs> well, I don't want to steal anybody <laughs> else's two. two yeah. I don't steal anybody else's questions. But uh, back to quarterback, you mentioned the two guys who come back from last year with Ethan and AJ. Are there? I know it's the early days of the spring. Have they either of them done anything that have surprised you positively? Have you seen anything from them? that maybe you weren't expecting or about the level of play, any, anything they've done in practice early on? Well, Ethan, I saw do things in Big Ten games, so it's not really a surprise. I think he's doing well, but it's not a surprise. A.J. I only saw play in high school, and, yes, he's, he's pleasantly surprised me. I mean, A.J.'s a really fine young quarterback prospect, and I'm very excited about him. So, like I said, I'm encouraged with the room, you know, starting up there with Gavin and, and going all the way through. And Johnny, who was here, um, you know, it's – it's a it's a it's a good room, and uh, I think they got a good chemistry in there too. Coach Sharaka does a real good job of kind of blending them together. And yes, there's a competition, but they you know you watch them, they help each other all the time. I mean that's what that's what family is about. Transitioning right to the program, Tim Pernetti, former AD at Rutgers, named the commissioner of the AAC. Just your reaction to that and seeing Tim get a position that I know he's always wanted to be a commissioner for him to get that. What is it? What is it like for you to see that? Yeah, I'm thrilled for Tim. Uh, Tim's family and my family, we go back, heck, 50, 50 years probably, right? So I've known Tim. I've coached him as a high school player. I coached him as a college player. And then Tim was my boss as the AD here, right? So uh, thrilled for Tim. I think he's going to do great things for that league. And I'm really happy for he and his family because they're just great people. Sam Brown should have appeared to show a bit more burst as the season went on last year. D has he shown anything so far this season that, you know, continuing the, the trend? Yeah, in fairness to Sam, he was recovering from a pretty severe foot injury. So I think as he just got more confident and that foot felt better. I've had guys that have had that same injury, and it literally is a whole year before you're back to feeling like yourself. So I think you just saw Sam feel better and better and better as the year went on. And that that showed in his play. Yeah, he's he's done some nice things already this spring. He's he's certainly a good running back. Really good. All right, thanks guys. Have a great weekend.